Chromebooks are 10 years old and a lot has changed with them over the years. If you remember them at the start, they were these sort of cheap, small laptops that basically ran Google's Chrome browser and not much else. And they always had to have a web connection. To be clear, I didn't like the first Chromebooks and it wasn't until a few years ago that they became worthwhile for me and more people. Uh, they do much more now and there's a greater variety of them and really they are enough for most people's needs. If you're still not sure though, here's why a Chromebook may be right for you. Now, most of the people who've asked me about getting a Chromebook were people buying them for their kids. Uh, but these Q&A sessions, they usually uh, turned into them asking, should I buy one for myself? And my stock answer is usually, it depends on your needs. But I do mention Chromebooks as a starting place because they typically have great battery life, they're thin and light, they can be more secure and safe to use, and you generally get more for your money. This for instance is Acer's Chromebook Spin 713. It's a two-in-one with an Intel Core i5 processor, a nice looking 13.5 inch display, a good backlit keyboard, and a fingerprint reader, and nearly 13 hours of battery life, and it's priced at $700, and that's premium for a Chromebook. Now you might be saying, recommending Chromebooks is terrible advice, Josh. Hashtag bad advice. And yeah, it would be bad advice to tell you you can do everything with a Chromebook because you can't. But what I am saying is that many people simply don't need to do so much more. And the simplicity of a Chromebook makes more sense. And again, you can do quite a bit more now with a Chromebook than you could 10 years ago. If you're not sure a Chromebook is right for you, the best place to start, and really this goes for any computer purchase, is to make a list of exactly what you need to do on a computer. And also include what you'd potentially like to do too. Uh, if everything on your list is done in a web browser, congratulations, Chromebooks are a perfect fit. Now, that might seem unlikely, but Chrome has a store full of web apps and extensions, and if you can't find a web app to meet your needs, all current Chromebooks can run Android apps too from the Google Play Store. Uh, this combination and some other key Chrome OS features that I'll get to in a second uh, are what make Chromebooks an easier recommendation than they were just a few years ago. There are things that are a bit trickier like running Microsoft Office or Adobe Creative Cloud or other native Windows or Mac software. Uh, there are web and mobile app versions with most but not all features duplicated, so that's something you'll want to check on. You can also switch on Linux support and use Linux software in your Chromebook. And if you want to take things a step further, you can get something like this. This is an HP Elite C1030 running Chrome Enterprise and you can use it with Parallels Desktop for Chrome OS in order to run Windows software. This way you can have the simplicity of a Chromebook but still have full Microsoft Office offline or run that one lingering piece of legacy software that you need for work. You can also use Chrome's remote desktop as a workaround too if you were considering a Chromebook to complement a Windows or Mac desktop. With the Chromebook's remote connection, you can tap into your desktop and its software when you need it. One other hang up for people is gaming. You won't be able to play the latest Windows games directly from a Chromebook. What you can play on them are Android, Linux, and browser-based games, and you can use game streaming services like Google Stadia, GeForce Now, and Xbox Cloud Gaming. And Chromebooks are even starting to get geared up for gaming. Uh, this Asus Chromebook CM5, for example, even has the uh, WASD keys blocked out ready for gaming. Again, I'm not saying everyone should switch to a Chromebook. And sure, at some point there are diminishing returns and the workarounds aren't worth it. You may also have feelings about Google as a company or that Chromebooks have auto update expiration dates and eventually they stop getting feature and security updates. All things worth considering. For me, with the latest features in Chrome OS, a broader range of devices with faster performance and longer battery 
battery life and prices for good models starting around two to three hundred dollars you can't just toss them aside as cheap toys anymore that can't do anything other than browse the web and that's why they've become my go-to recommendation when starting to talk to people about laptops now, what do you think? Are Chromebooks finally serious competition for Windows and Mac laptops, or are they still just toys? Let us know in the comments and check out our Chromebook and laptop reviews on CNET.com. And as always, thanks for watching.